Hey everyone, I have some wonderful news to share with you, and I'm going to try to get through this without crying, but I've been very, very emotional about this. Um, the retreat ministry is going to happen. They are talking about breaking ground in just a few weeks. Things really got moving here, and uh, so I just couldn't wait to share the news with you. You might remember it was uh, almost exactly two years ago that I shared with all of you my hope and dream of being able to provide a very unique and even customizable prayer retreat experience for individuals or married couples. And it's taken a long time, but it is now going to happen. Um, thanks to your generosity, in those two years we raised about $70,000. So close to half of our goal, and we also went through four revisions of architectural plans, trying to figure out with that $70,000 what could we actually afford to do. And finally, uh, all of that came together. So we had to make one compromise on the retreat uh, cottage um, in order to make it work financially, and that one compromise was it's no longer a cottage, it's a suite. The builder's going to have to put it under the same roof with my home office, uh, but yet provided plenty of privacy and separation using soundproofing in the garage and just the architectural layout uh, to offer lots of privacy, as well as all of the other amenities that we have been sharing with you in that retreat ministry. Amenities like it being fully handicap accessible, having a beautiful sitting area, uh, some really uh, romantic touches for if a married couple is on retreat there, like the two-person jacuzzi tub and the fireplace. An amazing view. The best view from that ridge is going to be on the back patio and on that uh, uh, prayer overlook next to the, uh, the retreat suite. So some beautiful, beautiful, exciting stuff. And in fact, I'm going to share with you uh, some diagrams of what we've come up with and what we're going to be breaking ground on soon. So uh, I'll switch screens in just a second and show that to you. But before I do that, I just want to say thank all of you so much for your prayers, for your words of encouragement, for your contributions and generosity. Like, I would have given up on this a long time ago if so many of you had not just kept reaching out to me with encouragement, saying, hey, this was this is going to happen, Tom, just hang in there. And so I'm so grateful that I did, and I just can't wait to do this ministry up on the ridge. It's going to be absolutely beautiful there and meaningful for a lot of people. So thank you so much. Let me uh, switch screens here so that you can see some of those diagrams, and I can show you what this retreat suite is going to look like and where the prayer areas on the ridge are going to be. Okay, hold on just a second. Here is the overall footprint of the entire building, and we're going to zoom in and look specifically at the retreat suite and my uh, home office, which is buffered beautifully by this garage. But let's look at the retreat suite first. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so it's a little easier to see. As people come up the ridge, they will park right here beside the retreat suite they'll be able to come in this front door. And one, once again, all of this will be handicap accessible. The retreat suite has its own private covered porch that has a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the valley and of the mountain across the valley. You'd come in the door and there's going to be a bistro table and chairs to be able to sit there and relax or to be able to have a meal. There'll be a queen size bed, of course a closet, um, there will be the fireplace that we talked about. That was one of the important amenities that we didn't want to, uh, to sacrifice because fireplaces can be very cozy and, and quaint and even spiritual. So we've got a fireplace there. There'll be a love seat to just kind of sit down on and relax. Or if a couple's there on a married retreat, there's room for both of them to sit. And then at the uh, north end of the retreat suite, we actually have uh, a kitchenette with uh, the microwave, toaster oven, and vex uh, induction stovetop, the refrigerator, sink, cabinets, and even a stackable washer and dryer so that if uh, we've got someone on retreat for a lengthier period of time, 
they'll be able to just take care of washing and drying their clothes there. And then as we have uh, advertised and promoted, we will have a fully uh, accessible, handicap accessible bathroom here with a uh, shower with a seat in it, a sink, an ADA height uh, toilet, and a two-person jacuzzi massage tub, which will be super awesome for those couples that are there on retreat together. That will be super, super romantic. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the office. So if someone's on retreat here to come to spiritual direction, they'll simply leave and walk across to the front of the house, or once again, it's, it's handicap accessible, so they could take their wheelchair across here and come right in the door of my office. My office is going to be small and simple uh, with uh, a place for my a couple of my chairs to do spiritual direction, um, a small desk, a closet, uh, the coffee bar. For those of you who are directees of mine, you are very familiar with my coffee bar. So we'll have that there. And once again, an ADA accessible uh, bathroom. So pretty simple. Now let me pull up the site plan and I can show you where we're going to make some of the prayer areas on the uh, site uh, of the property up on the ridge. Okay, so here is the site plan, and I'm going to zoom in because I know this isn't easy to see, but this road right here is Cheyenne Trail in the north part of Sherwood, Arkansas. Uh, you would go up the ridge. This is the driveway to the retreat suite. You go up the ridge, uh, and this is the top of the ridge. This is the steep slope right here that overlooks the valley. So the retreat suite and home office will sit right about here. And this would be the retreat suite side right here and the parking pad for the retreat suite. Uh, that, that right there would be the private covered porch for the retreat suite. So let's look at some of the memorials and some of the places um, where people can spend time in prayer. And I'm not going to say a lot about the memorials just because I'm going to do a separate video and share with you the ones that we will still uh, need to find sponsors for, but uh, some of the memorials include my office itself, the Spiritual Direction Office, uh, and that has already been generously taken care of. The retreat suite itself is a memorial, and people can have their names put on a plaque there, just letting people know that uh, all the retreatants there are being prayed for and supported. <clears throat> we are still looking for a sponsor for that memorial. Then by way of prayer spaces, there's going to be a gorgeous overlook, a prayer overlook that goes out over the ridge, and uh, that memorial has already been generously taken care of by a retreat center in Oklahoma. So we're so grateful for their partnership and, and uh, their generosity. Uh, and that prayer overlook is going to be handicap accessible. So that will be a place uh, where if someone is in a wheelchair, they'll be able to go over the sidewalk and uh, enjoy that particular prayer area. Now there's going to be a path starting here that goes across the driveway, and there is going to be a prayer garden in the center of these woods, a small prayer garden. That memorial has also generously already been taken care of. We're so grateful for people's generosity. But that'll provide a nice place for prayer. Then the path will cross the driveway and will begin the Stations of the Cross path. And the Stations of the Cross will go seven stations down the hill and seven back up all the way down here. And at the base of that trail, which will weave its way through the woods, there is going to be another super cool place to pray. It's going to be the Divine Mercy Rock Garden. It's a very unique, one-of-a-kind, interactive prayer experience on God's mercy. I'm really excited about creating that. And then the path will go across the road for those who want to continue walking, and we'll start the actual, uh, what we've been calling the prayer path. Uh, which uh, is in the shape of the rosary, and it goes about an eighth of a mile through the woods, and that particular uh, memorial has also been generously taken care of. And on the prayer path, there are a couple of places to stop for prayer. One is going to be the Holy Family Grotto in the woods right here, 
and we're still looking for someone to do that memorial to sponsor it. Then up here there's going to be another place to stop for prayer and it's going to be the St. Ignatius of Loyola examen bench and uh, people who stop there will be led through uh, the examen prayer of St. Ignatius, a prayer that he did multiple times a day uh, some people say that by the end of his life, he was basically praying this meditation nonstop. It was so transformative to his life. And so we're still looking for someone to sponsor that particular prayer area as well. So there's going to be some great spots along the, the ridge here for people to spend time in prayer. And like I said, I'll do a whole separate video sharing details about the prayer spots that we still need sponsors for and just thank you for prayerfully considering uh, doing that in these next few weeks. So once again, thank you so much. Um, thank you for your prayers, your words of encouragement, and your support. Uh, if you have any questions about this future retreat ministry, or if you have any interest in questions regarding any of the uh, memorials that are still left, please don't hesitate to contact me, and I will definitely be posting updates about that retreat suite and about those prayer areas that I'll be creating. Uh, so hopefully you'll get to kind of walk that journey uh, with all of us. And once again, just thank you so much, and hey, I made it through without crying, so that's a really good thing. And I hope you have a blessed and awesome day.